Welcome back to the channel everybody. I am Florida Boy and this is my EDC channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little special. Pretty excited to check it out. So uh, Chavez Ultramar Typhold. Let's get into it. Now being that this is a wallet, we are not going to go too crazy on the details, but we are going to break it down and roll it up like we like we normally do. <laughs> We're going to do my I'm going to do my best to put as many details in here as I can. Um so this just released from Chavez and it is part of, well, I say part of, but uh it released with his new line of stuff and I did order this from Enives. Uh, they're quickly becoming one of my one of my favorite places to buy things now and uh, if you don't know you always get a nice little handwritten note on your slip they always include a sticker which is cool I haven't I didn't get this one yet so that one will go on the safe and this also came with some Twizzlers that my wife has taken from me already so you do get some cool things um, I think I got sour punch straws last time or something like that so this is a titanium wallet from Chavez and uh, there's not a ton of information online I mean really it's it's a wallet and this is a very very minimal wallet so you got some stone washing here um, but titanium construction monolithic design um, no frills no gimmicks uh, it says that the wallet can hold up to 10 cards which that's awesome uh, so we will test that uh, so real quick, let's uh, let's go ahead and get a length and we are just at three and a half inches and then if we go from cha to cha, we are about two and a quarter. Huh. So very, very slim. And uh, so for anybody wondering, I I'm thinking I might do a titanium carry for April, 1.8 ounces. This is my copper wallet that I carry. <laughs> just to give you an idea. And here is just a normal leather wallet. Yeah, so this this is very, very light. And it feels solid. It doesn't feel cheap. Like, see, I'm, I'm squeezing on the edges. And they're not bending. Like, see, you can see the imprint of my finger. So, very light, but very good. Very, very good construction. Uh, words are probably going to be a problem for me today. All right, so let's um, see where, yeah, here we go. Okay, so here is your Savage Gentleman wallet. Now, this wallet comes in right about 50 bucks, um, and I think ordering it from eKnives, uh, let me just double check it does not tell me on my packing slip I think after tax you know tax tag and title I think I spent like $55 um, and I did have reward rewards points so uh, I didn't use any of those so I just paid full price um, but this guy right here is I think 150 bucks and I think at most I get like four cards in here and maybe like five or six bills this is absolutely a um, a card holder that is for looks and I've loved it because it's copper uh, but it doesn't hold very much and sometimes that's a problem so uh, let's see here if we bring out a normal wallet here you go and you can see here this one has seen many 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 years of use this is made by a local maker in Branson Missouri when I used to live up there and uh, I've got something in it and I don't know what it is oh it's an AT&T business card. <laughs> Fun. Um, so yeah, this is this is just giving you a size comparison, wallet to wallet. Um, this actually will hold roughly two in each one of these slots. So I mean, you're talking twelve cards plus quite a bit of bills. This isn't too far behind it, and I think I did spend about forty or fifty bucks um, on that wallet. But like I said, handmade, a little bit of a difference. So here is your extra aluminum card holder 
there you go. That gives you an idea here. And uh, we're, we're really just doing size comparisons. Um, I do love my extra wallets. And you can see here, I have been using these and carrying these. And uh, yeah, there's no cards in these because I take them out before I do videos. <clears throat> I can't trust everybody not to use my card info if I accidentally flash it on here. So that gives you a size comparison. Um, these are all premium wallets. This is also a premium wallet, uh, but I love this. I just wish it had more functionality. That's been my only complaint with it. Um, when I carry any of these, I only have to carry one wallet. If I carry this and I wanna bring my credit cards and everything with me, I gotta carry two. That's a problem. So uh, being that I'm thinking I'm gonna switch to a titanium carry, that's where this guy comes in. So let's see here. Uh, let's see what it can do. Uh, where is, there we go. All right, I've got some cards, compliments of Exter, <clears throat> and we've got some cash. It looks like a wad. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not a wad of cash. <laughs> I usually use the big bills and then I just keep the small bills. I don't, I don't, I don't really know why. Uh, all right. So how many cards we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This says this can hold up to 10. I've got an extra two. Uh, it also says this will only hold eight with cards that have embossed numbers. Well, these are not embossed. These are just cards. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we hold. So this thing's pretty cool, the design uh, right here. This flares out and you can fit your cards in here and you get kind of a click, click. You get kind of a quick draw or cut out, whatever you want to call it. Or you can push from the bottom, which I, I really like. I also like that this has an actual money clip. That's been another complaint with the Savage Gentleman is yes, it does have a money clip, but this is leather and leather stretches and I have noticed it stretching, not good. All right, so 10 cards, we'll, uh, we'll see if I can split. Did I split the stack in half? One, two, three, four, five, I did, look at that. All right, so first off, all right, all right. I, I was thinking it was gonna kind of be a bear to get them in there, but it wasn't, wasn't too bad. So there's five cards so far. And apparently I can't count, there's six cards so far ignore that uh, so let's see how 10 fits and this is realistic for me because I will carry a lot of cards if you let me I'll put them in there <laughs> all right yeah uh, 10 cards no problem I can slide some out um, push from the bottom yeah okay so 10 card it actually feels like it yeah, it could hold more, but I I don't know rigidity and um, anything like that for titanium. So I don't know if I start stacking this thing full of cards, if it's going to bend out and not bend back. I, I don't know. Somebody probably correct me there. Um, so here is some bills. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, it says it'll hold 40, and it says it'll hold 10 cards. So I've got almost 30 bills here, and 10 cards in the holder. So uh, yeah, let's just... Oh, that's that's rough to get cash in. Well, I mean, I am sliding a lot. Well, there we go. Oh, I guess that wasn't too bad. So yeah, so I think it'll do everything it says it'll do. Um, and that's pretty that's pretty impressive. I mean this this is a this is a fifty dollar titanium wallet from Chavez. I mean that's. I, to be honest, whenever I saw the wallet, I was like, oh man, that thing's awesome. And then I saw 50 bucks and I was like, yeah, I'm going to order that. <laughs> I mean, the construction looks good. I love the stonewashed titanium. Um, and if you ask me, he has one of the coolest emblems or maker's marks, uh, I think out of a lot of brands out there. And I wish this would pick up how nice this laser etching is because it is very nice. Um, this, this is great. 
as far as the money clip goes. Eh. Kinda kinda rough to get it out, but as long as it's not ripping my money in half. Realistically, I'm not gonna carry forty bills in my wallet. Just, you know, facts. So this thing see that retention? I'm cranking on it. So it's got a lot of retention. Uh nothing feels sharp. Everything's knocked down very nice. This is a nice wallet. Uh I dig it. And I like I like that it holds a ton of stuff because that's not a pleasure that I've been able to have recently. So, what do we think? Well, I think it's awesome. And uh, I'm absolutely going to carry this. And one of the things I'm thinking... Snap. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking is... <clears throat> I'm going to do a titanium carry. So, just to give a preview, this isn't going to be everything that I carry. I might be replacing this Hank soon. I'm going to have to give Ace of Hanks a shout out. and Because I've loved this thing and it's worked great. So I'm thinking my new carry is going to be this Chavez wallet. And I'm thinking about rotating in my EGTAC D3A clicky. Got that neutral white color. And then we're going to roll with XOM. Love that thing. And for the pin, I'm thinking my Bastion pin. So I think I'm gonna go with a kind of a lightweight minimal carry this month. Uh, or I say this month, for the month of April. Um, and if I'm being honest, I never, <laughs> I never carry only one knife. Uh, so I'll probably also carry my Bradford knives G Necker because I got to have two knives. I mean, that's, that's, that's just what I normally do. <laughs> so I think this is going to be my April carry. Um, just, just a little carry update and a little, uh, replacing the wallet time with everybody. So I appreciate you guys being here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I am planning for a 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we are pretty close. I haven't really been paying attention to my subscribers. Uh, not paying attention to my subscribers. Paying attention to my subscriber count. I've just been letting it go and not paying attention to it. Just, you know, and I, I was looking at my uh, my video uploads. I have, I have a couple weeks already, like, planned out. Um, like, scheduled out videos. So I don't have to go in there an awful lot just when I need to upload more stuff. And I saw that we we're, like, 470-something subscribers, which is crazy. I, I haven't... You know, like I said, I haven't been paying attention to it. I've just been letting it do its thing. And um, I've been doing this for the fun. Not not trying to just rush to get as many subscribers as I can. I've just been embracing it, having fun, just enjoying the ride. And it's been a blast. And uh, I've met some really cool people and uh, some other cool creators. And uh, I'm I'm absolutely blessed. Thank you, guys. I really, really appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one.